so tired. Let's go. Let's get this day started. Oh, so my skincare is done and I got ready and I'm gonna go for a walk and then come back and eat breakfast. But I forgot my Fitbit at the studio. <laughs> The walk is done, I am showered, I ate breakfast, and I don't care if it's 70 degrees out. My body is not ready for not sweatshirts, okay? And I'm always cold in my studio, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but it is Monday, so let's go get some Starbucks and pay for the person behind me and get to the studio, because it's 11 o'clock and I need to leave. I don't know what I got, but I hope it's good. So we'll see. Thank you. And can I pay for the person behind me? Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. So I got my drink and this is what I got, but I think I forgot to say lemonade. So it's not as tart anymore. It's not as tart as I thought it was gonna be, but it's really, really good. It is delicious. Delicious, 10 out of 10, or maybe eight out of 10. It's not like, it's flavorful, but it's not super flavorful. My hair is a mess right now, and I am about to spill my Starbucks all over my white car, so it's fine. Okay, did I say welcome back to the vlog? I don't think I did. Welcome back to the vlog. Today's gonna be, I'm gonna try to pick up my camera a little more instead of just a bunch of time lapses and then me talking at the front in the beginning. I mean, the front and the end. So I will try my best to pick up the camera more there's a bunch of things we gotta do today, but I have to do a lot of drawing today, so I'm sorry if you came for other things, but we're gonna draw today and do emails and do all those things, so. Come along with my day. Thank you for being here. Let me explain what my mom and Janice were doing for the past few hours. They were packaging up, well, we had to try to figure out what prints we're bringing to the show. And I said like, I want five of every single design, no matter what. And then also more popular designs, I want at least 10 of them. And then each design will have three different sizes. So eight by 10, sorry, five by seven, eight by 10, and 11 by 14 on both sides. And then I actually made this with someone and <laughs> Anywho, so you cannot buy this because this was handmade. So, because I knew I needed a thing for my show to have my prints and this was just the best, you know, if you can't find it, you gotta make it. So therefore they were packaging up a bunch of prints and then trying to figure out what prints I still need to get or print and all of that. So that's what they were doing um, once they were done with orders. So yeah, more bags are coming. Usually I wouldn't package every single one in a plastic sleeve, but it's because at shows it's really hard because people touch them and people, you know, have food and drinks while at an art show. So I wanna make sure that every print is protected and doesn't get damaged whenever people are like shifting through them, if that makes sense. So yeah, I really, really love this and it's very sturdy and I've had this since my first show it's great and we put handles on it so it's easy to move and everything like that so that was what they were working on and while they were doing that I was working on some different project designs and here is some time lapses from my phone And as for the designs, I was able to get two done. So I got this sun done and then, and then I got this daffodil done. So I was able to get two done and as of right now, I have 70 done, but I still have 130 left to do, which is kind of stressful. Actually not kind of, it's very stressful. And I'm trying not 
to make it seem like it's stressful because then that just like psychs me out but it is very stressful <laughs> because no one can help me with this that's the problem absolutely zero people can help me with this i can't have someone else design for me just it just doesn't work out that way so like within the next what 70 days yeah, 70 days. Yeah, 70 days. Well, within the next two weeks, I have my show coming up. And then the beginning of July is whenever I'm moving into my apartment. And then right after that, I'm going to the beach for a week. And then I have a week until um, July 30th, which is technically the day that I'm supposed to have it completed. But I want to get it done by the 18th, which is before vacation, because I don't want to have to stress about it while on vacation. So, but at this point, whenever I was like, oh, I'm going to get it done by the 18th. One, I didn't have a show coming up. And two, I wasn't moving. <laughs> so there's a lot that's happening within the next 70 days. Let's just say that. In the next two months, I have a giant show that I'm still prepping for. There's still so many things that you saw on my list. So many things to get done. We're getting pegboard tomorrow and all of that. And then I'm moving. I think I'm going couch shopping this weekend. And because I have nothing. That's the problem. I have a mattress and a dresser because I'm moving from my parents help i have nothing like nothing <laughs> like, like i need to get all the things that i don't think about that i need to live if that makes sense you know all the bath things and i have two i have two bathrooms so therefore i need like two sets of things because i'm having you know i'll have my friends stay over and guests stay over so i need to make sure their bathroom's good i have to get two couches because i have to make sure there's a couch in the guest bedroom because i don't want to put a bedroom because my office is going to like my like desk is going to actually be in that room as well and i need to get a couch a rug a tv a new desk there's so much that i have to get that i'm really really hoping that the store that i'm going to i'm actually driving like an hour or so to go to this giant furniture store in ohio so i'll definitely bring you along with that but because i'm the type of person that like i can't buy a couch oh i also need a headboard like a head like a like a bed frame because like i said the, the frame that i have now is just a makeshift frame that we made to perfectly fit in the space in my room because my room is tiny so i don't even have a headboard <laughs> anything except that, like I have one piece of furniture so moving is not going to be very it's I don't think it's gonna be very stressful I just have to you know get on my clothes I don't have that many clothes clearly because I literally wear the same thing every day but I'm gonna have like three closets and I have so many sweatshirts and an entire closet is just gonna be my sweatshirt my sweatshirt closet basically and um there's just a lot to do there's a lot to do and I'm basically probably just gonna go to like Ikea or Target and just get all those like random essential things or I'm definitely gonna look up on like Pinterest or something and be like what do I need for your first apartment like it's just like I know there's things that I am not thinking of that I need that I actually need like I use my mom's hair dryer I don't have a hair dryer I have to buy myself a hair dryer I'm, I'm starting a whole new chapter yes I have my studio and I pay for every single every single thing in this studio but this is studio stuff this is business stuff I have never lived on my own other than college, but I wasn't even, I didn't even live on my own because link down below is the Q&A of explaining my entire college situation, how I lived with like five girls and it, it was, it was terrible. <laughs> It was definitely an experience. But um, my whole uh, college experience is linked down below and why I dropped out. Anywho, basically, uh, I am starting from scratch and I'm so excited, but I'm so just anxious with it. I'm, I'm so excited to just, and then Jack's coming with me and he's gonna live with me. I really hope that's gonna be okay because I'm very nervous that he's gonna have like a freak out because he's never lived somewhere else other than my brothers whenever he, you know, Jack was originally my brothers and then now is mine for the last like nine years or something, so. <sighs> a little stress <laughs> just like a little bit just like a little bit but all the things that i'm stressed about are all good things that are happening in my life so i don't want to you know damper on them it's just there's a lot of things that i need to do within the next two months and one of them is just i gotta breathe i just gotta remember to breathe <laughs> because sometimes i'm just like ah and to be honest like i have all of these things to do and the old Britta, cause like it's 8.30 right now, the old Britta would have just stayed here until like three o'clock in the morning, but I can't do that because I cannot, I need to make sure with all this stuff that I'm doing in the next two months or the past month or so, 
I have to I have to make sure that my sleep schedule is still intact and I'm still you know getting my active hour which I am but it's just <laughs> it's a lot right now it's all good things it's all good things so I'm just gonna be thankful for it but you know just because you're thankful for a lot of things that doesn't mean like you don't get stressed out but the thing is I love this this is I like I always say I, I thrive on this type of life I don't know like I thrive on just like having a million things to do at one time and you know getting stressed not that I like getting stressed but like me being stressed about work is meaning I'm like lucky enough to have work if that makes sense. Anywho, um, also we got like eight wholesale orders today, which is amazing, which is amazing, amazing. It's just wholesale orders eat up my inventory so fast and then I'm not gonna have enough inventory for the show, even though I just bought so much inventory. It's fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. It's all good, it's fine. Okay, well I need to go home because my home, my room, I've still not unpacked from the cabin. And then there's just clothes all over my bed. My clothes go from my bed because my closet is so small that like I don't think to put my clothes back in the closet because I feel like I don't have enough room and I'm so excited to have more room. My room is tiny. I'm so excited. Ah, I'm so excited. You have no idea to have my own apartment. I'm gonna cry again, so it's fine. But yeah, there's a lot going on. So um, hope you stick around for this chaos of my life in the next two months. And then chaos with the studio. And then getting back to normal work other than this project. Whoo! So, um, let's go home, clean up my room, and then we'll say goodbye. Because I feel like I didn't film anything today. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring it home. I also haven't eaten dinner yet. Is it bad that sometimes whenever I'm like so hungry and it's like past eight o'clock, I don't want real food. I just want a PB&J and popcorn. I'm a five-year-old. PB and J and popcorn. That is my like go-to ever since high school because that's all my like high school boyfriend and I would eat. That's it. That's all that we would eat and like quesadillas that Abby would make. <laughs> so that's just like always been my like late night meal is um, PB and J and popcorn. I'm 27. It's fine. It's totally fine. So let's go home and possibly have some PB and J and popcorn and uh, clean my room. I'm gonna go listen to uh, "Good for You" super, super loud with my windows down because it's a fantastic song. Even though I'm not like in that situation right now, it's still a fantastic song. So okay, goodbye. It's still light out. Wait, that's so exciting. It's not dark out yet. I mean, it's about to be dark, but like, it's so nice. It is so nice. Right now. Holy moly, it's nice out. And honestly, this is my favorite. This is, could you not? This is my favorite weather to just drive around and listen to music. So I might just drive around for like 10 minutes even though I literally live so close to my studio. So uh, we're gonna listen to this song. This song is so good. So much anger. <laughs> Well, that was a nice little uh, sunset drive. Okay, now it's nine o'clock. I still have to clean my room. <laughs> It just hits a spot, <laughs> but I ran out of I ran out of jelly. So there's definitely more peanut butter than jelly, but it's fine. And then we got some popcorn. It's just like my like go-to. Just judge me all you want. Comment down below what your go-to uh, what your go-to meal as like a very quick meal that doesn't involve the stove. What's your what's your go-to meal? This is this is it. All right, I'm gonna eat real quick and then. Um, watch a movie while I clean. You know, it's already 9.15, I should be getting ready for bed now, but I'm not. And uh, snack on some popcorn while I uh, clean my room. It should only take me like maybe 40 minutes, maybe. So, cool. All right, let's go do that. Boom chicka pop, popcorn, chef's kisses. Um, I just sat on TikTok for like an hour. <laughs> I never do that anymore. I just got into like a, like a swiping situation that I couldn't stop swiping. Still eating my popcorn. Currently, okay, maybe like only 40 minutes. 
I just sat on my phone for 40 minutes. I, I never do that anymore. I need to clean my room. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's got a funny text. Okay, let's just do this real quick. Real quick, Britta, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, I don't wanna do it. But if I don't do it now, yeah, I gotta do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, how you doing, Jack? All right, clothes are officially put away. And I can see the floor. Look at that. Even though it's like 11 o'clock now. All right, and that's that clean room. It's gonna be really, really nice to wake up to a clean room. Trust me, it's really nice. <laughs> 10.45, and, which is not too bad. I just have to wash my face and do all that stuff and then head to bed and read. I'm finally reading again. I feel like I haven't done any of my like nightly routine things in so long, so I'm excited to do that. And I'm so tired. Even though like I feel like I didn't do that much today, I got a lot done. It's just the days that I just draw for like six hours, I feel like I'm not productive, even though I am. Like I got my emails done um, and I got two designs done. I cleaned my room, I got my workout in, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I miss doing like a lot of things in one day, but so. Anywho, thank you for being here and watching and I will see you in a few days, whether it's Monday, Wednesday or Friday, whatever the next day is, so. Thank you for watching, I'll see you later. And remember to drink your water and clean up something somewhere in your living area. Just clean up something for like 10 minutes. Just clean up something. You'll feel a lot better. Okay, goodbye, love you. Say goodnight. He loves, he loves this thing. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Okay, goodnight. <laughs>